All right, hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're inside an abandoned asylum complex. Uh, this building is actually for the patients. It was patient housing. Uh, we're gonna take you through a few of the rooms and we're gonna see what else we can find. I've been here before, so I'm super hyped. Anyways, let's just get right on into it. I just wanted to show you guys this old uh, newspaper left behind on the ground. It's from, I don't know if you can see, but uh, 1981. Not too shabby. I thought it'd be a little more beat up, but just shows how much history is trapped behind these walls. I had to do it for you guys. I'm gonna go inside this elevator. Not too shabby. Cool little details. It does feel pretty wild being in here. Called the emergency uh, fire hose. Usually it's uh, wrapped up all nice in here, but someone thought it'd be cool to throw it all over the place, so. All right guys, we're heading upstairs. We've got this cool cage. Sunny's up there. Let's see what else we can find. Who remembers these old pencil sharpeners from like middle school or high school? It's just kind of nostalgic to me. Made it to the maximum security section where the most uh, violent patients would be held. So these are gonna be uh, some of the patient rooms as well right behind these doors. So this is one of the patient rooms. Pretty small. Got a nice little curtain, some peely paint. It feel very uh, isolating in here, that's for sure. I'm not sure if this is like a remnant of a bed. Um, sometimes it'd be good for them to use like a reusable plastic, something that could wash out really easily. Um, can't say for certain, but that is uh, very crazy to see. Like I said, I always like seeing things that are left behind from patients past, so makes the uh, experience uh, a bit more real. Looks like this was like a locker room. Not really sure if this was uh, for patients or maybe for some of the staff that would uh, be working in this building. Um, it's also a restroom. Who knows what these things could have held. Lots of personal belongings, uh, clothing. It's empty now. I know a few urban explorers would definitely agree with me. Whenever you see these old checkered floors, it just screams, uh, that you're in an asylum and that this was a very uh, key part of the, I guess, the <laughs> design and style of choices at the time. So yeah, it's just something you see a lot in these places. Another patient bathroom. Another thing I love about these old asylums is they had a very great color choice of yellows and blues and pretty bright pinks. I don't know, maybe they thought that uh, vibrant colors would uh, lighten up the mood and in such a dreary place otherwise, but yeah, I always dig this kind of style. Making our way through more uh, patient wards, more maximum security units. These are the kinds of doors you're gonna get, a little itty bitty window to, to look out, but that's about it. And I'm not showing too much of these rooms, but a lot of them are pretty empty. There's really not much left, and there's a bit of uh, vandalism, which tends to come with time at uh, any of these locations, so. But these were the kinds of rooms that patients did live in, and, you know, empty or not, uh, there's a lot of sadness in these rooms, a lot of uh, isolation, fear. And the rest of the space here looks kind of, uh, just like kind of office type setting, like where they would have faxes or maybe some documents. Not sure if it was maybe a makeshift nurse's station at one point. It's really hard to tell. But anyways, let's keep on going. So I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I believe it would be to house a phone and it would keep it under lock, as you guys can see right down there. Um, so that patients can make phone calls, um, maybe when supervised, and they could be kept away otherwise because back in the 90s and earlier when this building was operating, cords were still a thing. Uh, and in places like this, they had to make sure that um, anything that could be used to harm a patient was uh, locked away and safe from them. So 
I can imagine that being a good reason for why they had a lot of these all over the all over the place. It looks like this is where they would store um, patient bathrobes, maybe other clothing items as well. Uh, maybe after they would bathe or be cared for and they needed to be changed, things like that. So right now we're in the uh, communal shower room for the patients. It's a lot of uh, bare bones metal right now in here. See all the little switches and knobs. And there's a drain right there on the floor. Nothing too fancy, like I said, it does feel very bare bones. Um, I kind of feel like it's very symbolic that uh, everything here for patients, everything from how this room looks to their treatment seemed uh, bare minimum. I'm not gonna go too far into here because the visibility is pretty bad, but uh, these look like the sunrooms or the day rooms. So this is the one nice thing. Some of these buildings, you get to sit out here and feel some warmth on your skin, some sunlight. Uh, and that's, I guess, the one pleasure these people had while being kind of kept here and locked away. Okay, so now we're heading up to yet another floor and we're gonna see if what we're looking for is up here. conference room up here. Isn't it too shabby inside? Very uh, crunchy. Bathroom's cool though, I do dig the little outdoor accordion vibes. <laughs> so, and it was pretty barren. Not all of these places have uh, full rooms of equipment and everything, so. Sometimes there's a hit and it's a mess. Just some more empty rooms and funky curtains. Seems like that's the theme of this place. Like always, but anyways. We're looking for a few different things. Uh, there's supposedly a really cool dentist chair in here, as well as um, some old sinks. I've seen them before but I'm trying to find them again. It always seems like you come to a place and you find something and then you try and find it again and it's always a problem, so. And this is always my favorite thing too. It's a little director of nursing office. And again, some more really funky curtains. Old school clocks wired right into the wall. And my personal favorite, this really cool old chalkboard that has some writing on it, which I believe is dated 94. Look right in the bottom corner. So, it's been here for quite a minute. We found the attic, and now we're gonna head on up. And let's just say it's gonna get real hot. It usually jumps at least like 10 degrees. And it's already a hot summer day. Ooh, I feel it. <laughs> Not really much up here, nothing crazy. It's just a lot of, uh, you said what now? 102.5. We're doing this for you guys. We're in 102.5 degree. 103. <laughs> 103 degree. 103.5. 103.5 degree. Anyways, you get the point. Not really a crazy urbex find, but this window is so beautiful. And I love that you can see some of the other buildings from the campus in here. This just in, we're getting a live weather report from Sunny. It 104.3. is 104.3 degrees in here. And it was 104.5 before. When I say nature is taking over in here, I do quite literally mean it. I think it made its way in through that door. Probably the most funky curtain yet. And I'm kind of here for it. And some more curtains. That's the, they're Sunny. Do you have anything to say for yourself? For myself? Just one more. No, I showed you guys the elevator before. Now you get to see the long drop down. And this is why you gotta watch where you're going while you're urbexing, otherwise you are gonna risk dying, am I right? I'm gonna jump. All right, guys, we're heading back downstairs because I think we're kind of dumb and we're having a hard time finding something, so. Bear with us. Let's see if we can get this right this time. 
All right, guys, I found this really cool sink room. This is one of the things I was looking for. Uh, I always have a hard time finding this for some reason, but I always love this room. I think it's so cool. Uh, it's like a communal sink area for all the patients that would be here. And I always just love the, the style of the, the sink and the handles, the little drain and everything all combined. It's just, it's really in the little details. Got some paper towels on the wall. Someone had the audacity to waste some paper. And we got a bunch of mirrors as well. Just such a cool room. It's really beautiful. Another funky colored bathroom. I do really enjoy, like I said, the color choices. Super aggressive yellow in this one. Really dope. All right, guys, we found it. This absolutely insane dentist chair. And it basically has all the pieces left. The little foot pedal, the tray for all the gear, the cushions for the seats, even that little light up on top. I'm gonna be a little hesitant getting too close to it because there's a window with really bad visibility. Um, and I don't wanna get caught, so bear with me right here so I can get a closer look. So this right here looks like the tray where they'd have all the instruments, maybe some of those uh, attachments where they could, you know, squirt water into the patient's mouth to help rinse, um, to help polish their teeth, things like that. And then up here is that light to help them see a little bit clearer. I'm talking away because there's uh, someone outside right now. Like I said, it's a very risky spot, lots of visibility. So I'm gonna duck into the next room. There's a few other cool pieces left behind. All right, guys, so there's not as much left behind here, but this is still a super cool uh, focus light, I believe. Um, again, used in dentistry. Uh, I don't know if they make them like these anymore, but it's still super cool to see nonetheless. Uh, again, <laughs> really bad visibility here. I'm trying my best not to get seen. So, I'm trying to stay like a ninja. Here's the attachment piece right here. Super crazy to see. The attachment arm right to the, I'm assuming electric in the wall. I'm not sure if this piece is related at all. Could be a call button, could be something else. Not really sure, but it's kind of cool that it's left behind here. Just figured I'd show y'all. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and enjoyed this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one.